This is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Voyager Class Grapple. Now, it figures part of the first wave of Earthrise Voyager Class figures. I picked up this figure at Hobby Corner. Here's a quick look at the packaging. Nice Earthrise artwork. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Grapple out of packaging. And I am not the biggest Grapple fan out there, but I love this figure. I honestly do. I did not expect to like this as much as I as I did. It just like the Starscream figure, it feels like it's a downscaled, affordable masterpiece figure. And I just want to commend Hasbro for making this effort to really bring us, you know, as good, as accurate, and as nostalgic. Uh, a figure uh, for these G1 characters we've all grown up with, grown to love over the years. And this is one example. I love this figure. And again, it's so much G1. The, the colors on it, it's like a tangerine marmalade on it. Uh, black and silver here and there. Although in G1, uh, his left arm was something like Inferno's arm. It's It was drawn in black and chrome and white and silver, oftentimes black and silver. But in the toy, it was like a silver hose. And I'm, I'm a little bit surprised and somewhat confused that they've given him a claw uh, for an alternate hand instead of that hose. But I, I'm guessing we'll get that hose when we get uh, Inferno as a retool or repaint for this one. Uh, but I guess the claw makes sense. His name is, in fact, Grapple. So it makes sense that he would have the claw. And that claw would have that little bit of a clip right there for the latest um, weapon masters or whatever they call them, the weaponizers. Uh, 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 small micromaster weaponizer r uh, robots that uh, came for the Earthrise mode. But as it is, it's a great figure. Even the way the, the figure has been sculpted and the mold, um, legs, uh, the arms, they hearken a lot to the Masterpiece mold. Um, I've gotten out of the Masterpiece game, but uh, I'm, I'm glad that, that Hasbro is doing this War for Cybertron trilogy line of figures because I can appreciate uh, a smaller scale figure in, the ma in sort of pseudo Masterpiece level uh, with these Earthrise and Siege figures. And right now, this one is looking absolutely gorgeous. The proportions are great. Um, the old G1 toys, the proportions weren't as great, but they transformed really nicely. Uh, but this one's really nice. And I'm, I'm now a Grapple fan, and I cannot wait uh, for the Inferno version of this figure. Let's give you a closer look at the details of, of, of this figure. Uh, starting with the head sculpt. It's so G1. I, I cannot believe how G1 they got it. Uh, the crest, the two ears or the horns. Uh, he's a little bit angrier here in G1. He was like a mild-mannered Autobot uh, repair bot. So he was on Ratchet's team. But uh, yeah, gun. Very close to his G1 weapon. Anyway, if you don't want that, you can just flip out the hand. And much like the toy, the toy had two complete hands and there was a hose attachment and whatnot. The old G1 toy I'm talking about. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, some paint issues here and there, but very, very minor. A light shade of paint right here. Uh, I could have used a little bit more right there, but that's fine. Overall, I'm not complaining too much. Articulation for the figure, he has a swivel neck, just a swivel neck, waist swivel. The shoulders can go outward, forwards, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, no wrist swivel, but it goes in and out because of transformation. Hips go do the splits, forward, backward, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and that always present rocker pivot. Uh, right there. So let's do some size comparisons. Here he is with Autobot Commander Optimus Prime. Good scale. Uh, I've always thought that he was much taller than Optimus Prime uh, in the show, much like uh, uh, Inferno. 
but here Optimus Prime is a little bit taller than him, which rightly, which rightly so, uh, should be the case because Optimus Prime is a commander. He, it would make sense that he would be taller than most of the Autobots. And here he is with uh, Ironhide, and Ironhide is a pretty big deluxe class figure, so he's right there, good scale. And just so you can appreciate his scale, here he is with a fellow Voyager class Autobot Springer, about the same height. Okay, so let's transform him. But before we begin, I know, I know, I, everybody's probably been typing a few minutes ago. He missed something. I actually did. That's my bad. Um, I didn't check the instructions before starting the review. He does have that iconic hose that Inferno will probably have. And this was hidden right here, and I'm glad they painted it silver instead of black, keeping it just black plastic. So, put some light on that. Yeah, very nice. It's a very dull silver type of thing, but it doesn't matter. It fits nicely on his left arm, left hand. She can repair uh, auto, fellow Autobots now that he has it. So, my bad for not noticing that. I do apologize. This one, you can store it here. Also in alt mode, you can store it right there if you wanted to. Same with the gun. You can store it right here if you wanted to. Blasting the Decepticons. Okay. Okay, so. All right. Uh, he does come with very nice instruction, instruction sheet that's actually very detailed. Uh, very impressed with it. Let's transform uh, Grapple. Okay, so what we want to do is do the hands first, or the arms. Do it this way. Rotate this way. Okay. All right. And then what you want to do is detach this neck piece right here, right here. Stretch that all the way out like that. Put this up like this. Might as well go ahead and do this because you're going to do it anyway. We'll keep it like that. And then flip that head and cover that like that. All right. And this is going to go here in between his legs. All right. And then do this, and do this. Okay, now, here's the rub. Uh, you tab that middle section right in there. And then, you have to peg these teeny tiny, well, these pegs onto these peg holes right here. The problem with this is there's not enough infrastructure for the pegs to, to really be stable when you're trying to remove it. Okay, it feels it, it feels like it's moving too much, and it's not the, the plastic isn't as solid. It's very thin plastic right there. I'll give you a closer look at that. It's very thin. So I get it. What some of you have mentioned in my haul video, Prime versus Prime, and a couple of you other guys mentioned that be careful with this peg. Um, it's always tight the first time you do it, so I'm, I'm going to stick with that, and and just, it's going to be tight, so don't put it all the way in. J just put it enough so that it stays. That That's my that's my take on, on this one. Uh, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to put it all the way in, I'm not going to insert it all the way in, I'm just going to let it stay like, like that. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere anyway, so... Yeah, and the problem is actually this one. This, this peg hole right here is very thin. This one can go all the way through. There's no problem, and then you can just wiggle it out gingerly. Uh, but this one is very tight, the other side. So I, I'm, I'm not risking it uh, here and here, okay? Make sure that the wheels are flat, okay? And then for this part, just plug it in just on the rim right there um, don't don't insert it all the way through because you're gonna have a damn difficult time just getting it out so yeah I'm gonna stick with that okay uh, because I've broken a lot and you know me with quality issues with Hasbro I am probably gonna break that so transform the arms this way tab them together and just like G1 transform and then there's pegs right there right there and it's pretty solid even if you don't put it insert it all the way in it, it's a pretty solid fit okay so this one goes here all the way there 
right there. And there you go. There is Grapple and his really cool crane alt node. And this one, you want him to be a, a fire, like a fire hose for a crane, which doesn't make sense. You probably just want to put it back right here. And then this one, uh, the grappling hand or claw actually fits nicely right here. And you can have him grab and pick up some energon cubes. <laughs> Very nice. I actually like this this extra bit of accessory right here. But if he's not using it, you can always store it right here. And then the gun, the gun can store right here, or or like this. So you can shoot in front. The Decepticons are attacking. Destroy them. Okay, but uh, the default position in alt mode is really here on the side, much like. Uh, the claw. Well, you can put it right here if you wanted to, but as it is, it's pretty cool right there. All right, pretty nice. For size comparison, here he is with the smoke screen. Uh, he kind of looks small compared to smoke screen because it is a normal car. The truck should be much bigger. So a little bit disappointing on the scale, but not a deal breaker entirely. This is way too small in scale for the deluxe class. A bit of a shame, but not not a problem. So on a final note, uh, I think it's brilliant. I think this, this figure is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Those pegs uh, from the crane part, pegging into the soles of the feet, might have brought down the score a little bit because it it, it, it doesn't make the alt mode as solid as I want it to be. I, I And if, if you try to do it that way, you'd risk breaking it, so I'm not about to do that. So a little bit of tweaking here and there, maybe for Hasbro. In, in my opinion, I think the best thing they could have done instead of a cylindrical peg, they should have put a, a flat peg, like a very thin peg like this, or made it thicker a little bit and then turned it into like a slot. That way it would be more stable, or they could have actually thickened up this part, this plastic right here, so that it'd be more stable as a peg when you're trying to remove uh, that peg from the sole. But other than that, I think it's amazing. I think Hasbro did a wonderful job with this figure. It sort of gives you that pseudo masterpiece experience at a very affordable scale. And, you know, masterpiece figures come like, what, three, four, five figures a year? This one, you can complete almost the entire cast of your Autobots and Decepticons, whatever period uh, you, your, your favorite period was, the time of G1. And it's a lot easier to collect. They're mass retail. And I have to admit, Hasbro's design and the playability and, and engineering of their Transformers for the Generations line have vastly improved from the time of the classics. Uh, the classics, uh, Reveal the Shield, you know, generations during the older, older years, um, they greatly improved by leaps and bounds. I am very impressed with the figure. this figure. I highly recommend it together with the Starscream figure. Just be very careful and remember, it's always tight the first time you do it, so be very, very careful. And like what I said in that peg, uh, my, my fix or my, my, my go around uh, to, to remedy that situation is don't insert it all the way through. I mean, you just put the tip in and I think there's enough pegs to stabilize the whole alt mode. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video review. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below what you think of this new Earthrise grapple figure. Uh, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. This has been the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Voyager Class Grapple. Thanks for watching.